start off with an empty scene. Load in a Genesis 8.1 or Genesis 8 figure. To improve performance delete the tear and eyelashes figures. They can be added again later. Go to your content library location where you installed the Meta Mixer toolkit. With the Genesis figure in the scene selected go to People, Genesis 8 male or female, Shapes, Meta Mixer and load the Meta Mixer setup file, then the Meta Mixer Plus file. Although this is not a necessary step for the Meta Mixer toolkit to work, it is good practice to change your camera view to Meta Mixer camera and your draw settings to filament. Another optional step is to go to the MetaMixer Elements folder and with the Genesis figure selected in the scene, apply the gray clay material settings. This is useful to get a better read on the shape of the face when modeling. For the purpose of this demonstration I will be attempting to create a realistic version of the main character from Attack on Titan. I collected several references from Google Images and used Pure Ref to overlay them on the screen. For the MetaMixer presets I'm using the 25 male faces bundle available at the DAZ store. Links to all assets used in this video are available in the description. I choose the widgets depending on what features I want my final sculpt to have. It is not necessary to load a preset in all three slots in order to mix the facial features, but loading a full plate will give you more options to play with. MetaMixer uses the Power Pose feature to work properly. In versions of DAZ Studio 415 or lower the Power Pose templates do not load automatically when moving to one figure or another. To get them to load you will need to click on a triangle icon. Then from the drop-down template menu choose any of the options available. To improve performance you can go to your draw settings and make sure your subdivision updates are set to delayed. You can also lower the resolution of your Genesis figure. However, finer facial details will no longer show up in the viewport. To get a better visual feedback when mixing the features together, I recommend selecting the Universal Translate Rotate or Scale tool. The widget for the tool will give you on-screen feedback on how much influence each face preset will have when you're blending them together. When in blending mode, for the eyes and mouth you will notice two controllers available. The left controller will only influence the eye sockets only, whereas the right controller will influence the eye sockets and eyeballs together. Same thing goes for the mouth, with the left one controlling the shape of the lips, and the right one controlling the lips and teeth together. The expression controllers are useful to reveal hidden aspects of the face like the teeth, as well as testing out that no geometry clipping happens when posing the face later on. They control the default face expressions found on any Genesis 8.1 figure. These particular expression controllers do not work with Genesis 8 figures. When I sculpt faces I focus mainly on the larger features like the jawline, chin, mouth, nose, eyes, and brow. The Meta Mixer Plus add-on allows for a greater level of control over the overall shape of these features, so they're not just dependent on the pre-sculpted Meta Mixer face presets. For my face I'm trying to give it a straight small nose, long sharp chin, a distinct jawline, large eyes, small mouth, and a brow that droops inwardly. The end result is mainly dependent on the user's artistic ability rather than a predefined set of rules. Practice makes perfect. After I'm satisfied with the initial sculpt I like to apply a typical skin material to the face. The texture adds a lot of detail over the sculpt so more adjustments might be needed. For the hair I'm using Nick and Hair, available in the Daz store. It's the closest approximation I could find that best fits this particular character. Keep in mind that once you attach a figure to your Genesis character the Meta Mixer viewport will become very sluggish. This can be mitigated by using the perspective view instead of the Meta Mixer camera. I'm now doing more tweaks as I'm noticing several issues I would like to fix. At this stage I'm ready to test out the face movement by using the Genesis face controls. I reapply the tear and eyelashes figures, and I adjust the face rigging to fit the new shape. In the Joint Editor tool, right-click, go to Edit, Adjust Rigging to Shape. Then only select the joints from the neck up. With the face controls I'm able to give the character a slightly annoyed and slightly disdainful type of expression. Now I'm noticing other areas that need fixing so I tweak them accordingly then readjust the rigging again. I decided to also apply the Genesis 8.1 face controls so I can give the expression more subtle aspects. Both face controls can be used concomitantly. A few more tweaks and the face sculpt is finally ready.
To save your character, select the Genesis figure, go back to the Meta Mixer Elements folder and run the Meta Mixer Shaping Preset script. Select your desired location, press Save, then Accept. Test out your character preset by loading in a new Genesis 8 or 8.1 figure. Then load the shaping preset. Note that you will have to adjust the rigging again so it conforms to this new shape. To avoid constantly repeating these steps you can apply the shaping preset and adjust the rigging once. Then enter edit mode. Create a new property. Select this property. Right click. ERC freeze. Hit OK. This new slider we just created holds all the shaping and rigging information of our character. Due to how MetaMixer was designed its Genesis male presets can be also applied to the female figure and vice versa. Load in a Genesis 8 or 8.1 female figure in the scene. Go to the location where you saved the MetaMixer shaping preset then apply it on the female figure. You will notice that the features are a lot more masculine. This can be adjusted by going to your MetaMixer subgroup and search for the Morph M2F head all. Set the value of this to negative its double current value. In my case the current value is 46, so I need to set it to negative 92. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. If you so desire you can move the slider so it gives the face more feminine features so it better fits the overall body shape. Before exiting studio make sure to save the character property you created. Otherwise it will no longer be available when starting a new scene. Select the Genesis figure, go to File, Save as, Support Asset, Morph Asset. Check the property you created and hit Accept. Now each time you load a Genesis figure the character slider will be there. Thank you for watching.